uh, 12 years ago, I met, uh, what made 13, 14 years ago, I met uh, a buddy of mine for the first time. His name was Tom Kimmel, and he's a great, great writer in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, before, before we knew it, we found ourselves out on the road together, doing little tours together, and our first gig together uh, was at this small club in Houston called Anderson Fair. And this is way before I moved to Texas. So we got there and we did our sound check. It was the afternoon and the show wasn't supposed to start till 9 o'clock. So we uh, just went out, stepped out the front door, decided to go walk and uh, try to find a bite to eat. And this guy comes up to us. He, he says, uh, hey, I'm the can man. I'm the can man. I need to talk to you guys for a second. So me and Tom looked at each other like, yeah, we'll give him a minute or two. And the can man started talking. And uh, it was right away, it was immediately apparent that he was like one of the most radiant people I had ever met in my life. It's hard to describe, but he was just so full of life. You could see it in his eyes. You could see it in his face. It almost came spilling out of him when he opened his mouth to talk. You know, it was, he was that kind of person. So... Um, we stood there for about 15 or 20 minutes, me and Tom Kimmel and the can man, telling jokes and little bits and pieces of our lives, telling stories. And uh, finally, the can man looks down at his watch and says, uh, I got to go. You guys kept me here way too long. <laughs> 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 then he said, he said uh, yeah, I, yeah, and besides which, I left my Cadillac running on the other side of the street. <laughs> now we were really, really confused, you know, because the, uh, from the look of him, he was a street guy. He was not a Cadillac guy. So we just stayed put, me and Tom Kimmel, watched the can man cross the road. And sure enough, he started pushing this shopping cart full of aluminum cans. And he waved ov over to us and said, see, my Cadillac. You know? <laughs> so um, we were just so taken with this guy that uh, we kept talking about him. And a couple days later, we ended up in Austin, Texas friend of ours house and uh, did a gig there and about midnight we were sitting at her kitchen table talking about the can man again and uh, started writing a song about him and about 3, 3.30 in the morning we had finished writing this song. Both of us had tears in our eyes and we didn't exactly know why and we were sure that nothing was ever going to happen with this song but we had some really good fortune with the song. It was recorded by uh, a country singer named Randy Travis, so you may have heard of him. And um, I'm really grateful for it, even though I don't know a thing about country music, I'm really grateful for it because every now and then I still get checks in the mail. Which is, it's <laughs> important to a folk musician, let me tell you. So here's the song. It's called See Myself in You. If I met you on the corner, would I know you as you are? Would I take you for a stranger and brush past you in the door? And if you call me, would I hear you? Would I walk away too soon If I linger For a moment Would I see myself in you If I had you in my sight, would you ask me to remember and imagine I was right?
Like my lover Would I see myself in you I see myself